hi guys welcome back to my channel you guys can see me i'm in my tiny little kitchen guys um i'm going to be making oh i'm pointing to the sink yeah i got dishes on the sink um i'm going to be making my tripod is moving i don't know why i'm going to be making a quick and easy meal this is going to be quick um I'm going to be making fish for my husband. I'm going to be making a salad for myself, a pasta salad for myself. I will be making some mashed potatoes. Um, I'm going to use what I have. I'm not gonna go out and bite anything. I know I have little things here and there, but with that, I will make two types of meal. So I have my frying pan here. I'm going to chop some onions and I have a tiny little piece of red pepper. I'm going to chop it all. I'm going to put that in the fish for my husband. And also uh, making mashed potatoes. But like I said, this time it's going to be quick and easy. So I'm using box mashed potatoes. But we're going to elevate those mashed potatoes to taste like the real thing. Okay, guys? So let me get settled. Let me chop my onions and pepper and get everything going then i will get my um potatoes and we are going to company that well he's going to company that with some corn or green beans i don't know whatever he wants so let me get started by chopping my um peppers and onions let me grab some onions uh, i've got one but i think i'm gonna grab another one all right guys I added my onion in there and my fish. I cut it in half. I add the peppers. I have water boiling here. And this is going to be quick, guys. This is going to be quick. To the fish, we're going to add some Italian seasoning. I know you guys will season it your way. This is my way that I'm going to do it today. Uh, also, we will add some extra oregano. and garlic powder i will leave this out as i will be using that on my salad i hope you guys are doing good guys this is quick and easy meals this is hosted by sorry about my back this is hosted by the grace like diy home decor Myself, Debra Cabasa Home Living, and Jean Home Decor and More. I will leave everybody's link in the description box below. I only put half of the package. So with that, I want to look for my, where's my herbs? Uh, this is going to be for the mashed potatoes. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to use garlic and pepper um, seasoning just a little bit because this does contain salt but I have one that is basically like Mrs. Dash with no um, salt in it but I think I'm going to add some of this um, this this is good. I will just add a little touch because it's also a little spicy. And my husband doesn't like too much spice. So just add a little touch in there. All right, I'm going to let that cook a little bit. I'm going to be using this for the mashed potatoes as well. Um. I'm still going to look for my other spice. I can't find it. I don't know where it went. Anyways, let me look for those spices. I add some garlic and herbs. This is without salt. This is basically like a Mrs. Dash. You can find this at the Dollar Tree. It costs you $1.25 compared to $2.99 or $3.99 for the Mrs. Dash. So it is the same thing. So the fish is already um, everything in there. We're going to cover that. Now in my little pot back there, since I'm only making salad for myself, let's do um, 
what is this? My sister used this and she didn't wash it. Oh Lord, hold on. Let me use the white ones. We're going to use a cup of pasta. That should be good enough. That's for myself. I don't add oil or anything to my pasta. The trick is not to let it uh, stick. That was sugar. It was stuck to the. So I just added my pasta to the water and to the pasta I'm going to add um, shrimp. I'm going to uh, cook them together because like I said, it's the pasta is only for myself. My husband cannot eat shrimp. He's allergic to shrimp. So... Here's the shrimp, just a few pieces. Stir. Okay, so while that's boiled, what I'm going to do, I'm going, ooh, I'm going to put it on the other burner. And I will keep an eye on it. And then over here. <laughs> We're going to do, I'm telling you guys, this is going to be quick. This meal tastes less than 20, 25 minutes. So, in the bag, you're going to add some milk. I don't measure, guys. I just add, maybe it's, that's about a cup, cup and a half. A little bit less, a little more. To the milk, we're going to add some, I can't believe it's not butter, 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 you can use your choice. This is the way I scoop my butter for my mashed potatoes. This is my measurement. So, put that in there. To that as well, I'm going to add some of the... Um, ranch seasoning be careful this contains a, a sodium as well going to add that there going to let it come to a simmer in a little bit mm. and i'm using instant mashed potatoes i use the price right the store brand uh it says made with 100% real potatoes. It tastes like real potatoes, but it says just add water and milk. No, I just add milk. I don't add no water. So once you add the milk, it tastes really, really good. And then you add your spices. So I'm going to um, let that simmer a little bit. My... Pasta, gotta keep constantly stirring. I got the fish on low. Okay. So the fish is already coming along. I usually bake my fish, but I am not baking my fish today. So I will let that come to a simmer. And then from there, and also to my um, pasta, I will be adding some classic bake flake style uh imitation crab meat i don't know this guy saw me the last time i made salad it was a long time ago and i still have some there so, so guys i'm going to let that simmer the shrimp i would be taking them out in another three minutes and let the pasta sit there um wait for that to simmer and then we're gonna take it from there guys like i said this is going to be quick and easy All right, guys, my milk is warm. So to that, I don't measure, like I said, I'm just going to add my potatoes. 
it's time for me to buy another box. It's going to add them. Um, third. So guys, what are you having for dinner? Yeah, that little stiff. That's the way my husband likes his potatoes. He doesn't like his potatoes to be runny. Very rarely that he asks me for the potatoes to be like soft. But he wants them to be See, if you think that your potatoes are a little way too stiff, then you can add a little bit of more milk. I usually add cream, but, oh, I do have cream. So I, I add milk, so this time I'm going to use a little bit of heavy cream. This is the way you turn your back mashed potatoes to a whole new level. You could use the same items with your regular uh, regular potatoes, you know. It's still a little stiff, so I will turn that down and I will add milk. Just to um, make them a little bit more soft. I may add some more butter as well. Oh. I think the fish is basically done. Now I'm just going to let them sit, cover them. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that tastes so good. Mm. I'm going to turn off the mashed potatoes and just let them sit. Um, I don't have to do anything to the fish. The fish just cook basically by itself. I don't have to flip it or anything. So I'm going to give it another three minutes. I'm going to take out my shrimp and I'm going to peel them and show you how I make my salad, which I already have showed you guys before. All right, guys, right now I'm working on my salad. I added a little bit of sazon. I added a little bit, enough for like one serving, so a little bit of the ranch seasoning and a pinch of garlic. And the reason why I didn't add a salt is because the, the ranch seasoning contains salt. I am going to add some pepper into that. I'm going to uh, flake my, what I have left of my crab imitation meat and I will put it in there and then I'm going to plate our dinner and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Well guys, our dinner is ready. Here I still have some salad left. That's going to be for my lunch tomorrow. And here is my husband plate, mashed potato, the fish, it looks delicious, corn, and King's Hawaiian bread. You guys can see it. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look so delicious? Oh, yes. Appetizing, guys. And for myself, just a simple pasta salad with imitation crab meat and shrimp. And I had two, but I ate one of my bread. It's so good. So that is going to be my dinner. So guys, let me leave it like I always say, be kind to one another, don't forget to smile, overall, stay safe, stay healthy, and remember guys, God loves you.
and Debbie also loves you too. It will be until the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bon appetit.